Hello from the dung heap, everybody. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> a lot of my them. friends. <laughs> There he is. Hi, sweetie. Hello. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> and we live. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hi everybody. Hi, well, today is uh April eighth, and it is uh 40 days to the end of the world. Did you know that? Did you know that? So today is, well, they call it the solar eclipse, but really what it's called is uh, signs of the times. It means that today the earth will be darkened. And I'm sorry, the sun will be darkened. We can see it from earth, the sun getting dark and the moon shall turn to blood. So that means in 40 short days, you have 40 days y'all to repent because the rapture will be happening. And if you miss the rapture, it's, sorry to tell you, it's off with your head. So um, I've been preparing just in case. I've been stockpiling things. I've got mandarin oranges. I've got all kinds of, uh, you know, chickpeas. And I've got some uh, spotted dick pudding. And I've got all kinds of stuff I'm piling up in the other room. And uh, yeah, getting prepared, getting prepared. Because uh, I'm a prepper because I, I think I'm going to miss the rapture. I, I hope I don't, but I don't. So and with that said, I, I just want to tell you guys something really annoying, really annoying. There's this fringe lunatic group running around. They call themselves scientists. And uh, I, I talked to one of them. It just won't leave me alone. And uh, he's trying to explain all this stuff. And it's just so boring, annoying, redundant, but. I just thought, um, all right, I'll bring him in. I'll bring him in so he can explain some stuff. Um, yeah, he thinks he really knows that uh, this is really scientific and there's an explanation for it. So without further ado, I'm going to bring in Dr. Cyrus C. Skelton. Dr. Skelton is a, um, he has a PhD and um, I think he got it from, uh, I'm not sure if it was Timu or Cracker Deck Box, but um, so here we are. Dr. Cyrus C. Skelton, PhD, astronomer at large. Hello there, Dr. Skelton. How are you today? Greetings. Greetings. How are you today? I it's am an well. amazing well. day. It's an amazing day. I hope everybody's properly prepared for the amazing uh, celestial event that we're looking forward to. And I thought for a minute I would share some important information that you might find as fascinating as I do. I'll tell you a little bit about uh, what's going to happen. Uh, so this solar eclipse, a total eclipse, only happens in a given location every several hundred years. And the reason that this can happen, the only reason it can happen for the moon to completely cover the sun, but still leave the vision of the corona around the edges for you to be fascinated by is the fact that the the fact that is the uh, earth is 400 times smaller than the sun, but it is 400 times closer to the earth than the sun is. And that allows it to be the right size so that it will completely block mm -hmm. out the sun and allow you to see this eclipse, which is amazing. And so, you know, uh, there are annular solar eclipses, which do happen more frequently when the moon passes between the sun and the earth. But these occur when the moon is further away than it is right now, and therefore it doesn't completely block the sun. So it really doesn't create the uh, effect of a complete eclipse. Uh, and also of interest is the fact that an eclipse would occur every month, except for the fact that the, uh, the moon's orbit around the sun, or the earth rather, is tilted. So therefore this only happens every several hundred years in a given location. 
So I hope you found that all interesting. It's quite an amazing uh, trippy thing. And even more interesting too, is that uh, animals react to this because they think that the, the sun- I love is animals. And at the end of the day, they think the sun is setting. So they go about their uh, night routines and get ready for bed and uh, change the sounds they make and they go and uh, they'll go hide. So even our dogs will probably be doing that today, which is quite interesting. So, and so the other thing, a safety tip that you might need to know is don't go out there and stare at the sun under any circumstances or it can totally fry your eyes and cause permanent damage. So there's two ways around this. Um, you go get your glasses. Well, it's probably t quite too late because we found out, we we know somebody that tried to get glasses at the absolute last minute the last few days, and it was like trying to get hold of a turbo man on Christmas Eve. Yeah, Very some Duncan guy was running around like an idiot. Well, yeah, <laughs> this guy was running around like an idiot because he put off getting the glasses until the last minute. And he had to go to 14 places and actually buy them from a weed dispensary and pay a lot of extra money to get them. So if you are foolish enough not to have your glasses already, you probably won't be able to get them now. However, there's still hope. Don't despair. Don't despair. You can still make a, a viewing box. And this little device didn't cost very much money, but I decided to make one just to demonstrate this. It's very cool. It's a cardboard box, which most people can obtain fairly easily. And I won't open it because if I do, I have to tape it back up. But in the bottom of it is a piece of white paper taped down. And that acts as a surface that the sun will shine onto. You can look through it. Now, notice this foil. I pulled some small holes in this foil. And if you go outside and angle this toward the sun, the sun's light will actually go through these little holes. And you'll see the image of the sun on the back of this little box. And this other hole is a viewing hole. If you look through this hole, you will see the sun projected on the bottom of the box. And it's completely safe because the reflected light can't damage your eyes. It doesn't have a full spectrum of radiation. It's only some light bouncing off. And by looking in here and aligning this properly, you will be able to see the eclipse safely in the comfort of your own yard or wherever you happen to be. So do not miss the opportunity to see this eclipse this afternoon. If you're anywhere near the path of totality, where the sun will be completely blocked out, it will be an amazing trippy experience that you need to indulge yourself in. Don't think it's not a big deal. It's very big. People describe it as being a sunset in the sky. So you look up and you're seeing these gigantic celestial bodies. You're seeing the entirety of the moon blocking the entirety of the sun. And you see this fringe of the corona around it. It's quite amazing. So I advise you to uh, make yourself one of these if you haven't gotten the glasses and then get go out there and enjoy this. It doesn't happen often. Probably won't happen uh, for me for the rest of my life. This exact event happening here only happens every 300 years or so. So you don't really want to miss it. You might not be around the next time. Yeah, because so, the rapture is happening in 40 days. Yeah. You know what? That's another thing, man. Don't put off repenting because if you put off repenting too long, you know what's going to happen. You're going to be fried. You're going to be toast. It's going to be all over. And you want you'll run out of time, so don't don't let that happen. So, you are know, you a Christian scientist? Stupid. Well, I'm a scientist, and uh, I don't know. You know. Well, uh, I have a lot of people in my chat saying that you look oddly like someone we know called uh, Joseph J. Joseph Esquire. And uh, oh, Nancy Alley said, "Were you a lawyer? Weren't you a lawyer yesterday? Is that you?" Oh, that, that's my identical twin brother. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. you're wearing the same shirt. Well, you know, we bought these shirts at the same time at the same store a few years oh. ago, and oh. we take great pride in these shirts. We like to wear them when we're you know, going about our official business. Yeah, your your mother must be so proud to oh, have totally. a, uh, a, do, a a PhD, a scientist, and a lawyer in the same family. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? It must have cost yeah. a lot for her to put you through college, you know, like bachelor's degrees and master's and, yeah. and PhDs. like. That costs a lot. Well, you know, she used to do a whole lot of crocheting in her younger <laughs> years. A lot of crocheting. Oh, my God. She crocheted. It sounds like she got a deal, though, because you, you got to skip right over your bachelor's degree. Yeah. Well, we you know, we were kind of fast-tracked. We knew the right people, you know. You know, we knew who to talk to. And, uh, you know, our mom mm -hmm. was pretty good and crocheted them all kinds of goodies. 
So they were able to slide us through without having Bribery. to. Do yeah. Yeah. That always works. Yeah, yeah. So I heard that, I mean, this is, this is just theory because we all know that the moon is actually going to be turning to blood and the sun will be darkened and it'll be 40 days for the rapture. But just, you know, I'll humor you a little bit. If you want to explain if there's an explanation why they say that the sun's Corona, which is what the outer atmosphere is, is hotter than the inside of the sun. That that you was know, interesting. They're still out on that. They're still working on that one. Yeah, they the haven't told that why that's happening, but yeah. it's an amazing thing. Well, yeah, well, they better hurry up because they only have 40 days to figure that I out. I know, I know. We got to get that figured out. We're working on it, though. Okay. We're working on it. All right. Well, so, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Cyrus C. Skelton, PhD. And what, what's the rest of your title? Oh, Astronomer at Large. Oh, right, right, right. Astronomer yeah. at Large. And uh, Cyrus, yeah. what is your middle name? Is C? What's your side? Um, what's your psilocybin. What? Psilocybin. You know, psilocybin. like Cyrus? and psilocybin. Uh, magic mushrooms. <laughs> okay. Don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> My mother was very proud of that name. I hope people appreciate it. <laughs> 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 all right honey thank you <laughs> love you love you we'll see you later thank you for all, all right, your we'll smart <laughs> oh absolutely i'll start studying on the next important topic that's right <laughs> bye yeah. love you <laughs> well there you have it, guys there you have it uh the scientific yeah still clap still clap <laughs> oh whoops <laughs> Seal clap eclipse. Yeah, there's an e there's an eclipse emoji for uh, for members. <laughs> we're just having way too much fun. He made that little thing, and it actually works. I went outside and tried it out, and you can see, yeah, it bounces off. Very very cool. Very cool. Chrissy never in Newton. <laughs> right back at you. Seal clap. Seal clap. <laughs> yeah, we got too much time in the holler, but. Oh, I am. That's right. <laughs> big love. Big love. Marilyn and Polly relationship with twins. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> so we are going to go up on the mountain and uh, maybe we'll do some filming. My my phone's terrible for that, but maybe Dunk can do some. And uh, yeah, we're going to check out those glasses. We have to share a pair because it took forever to find even one pair of them. So um. <laughs> other real retailers. Oh, for a degree, 127,000. Timu, 87 cents. There you go. There you go. We got Farrell Cheryl in here. Eclipse, kettle, eclipse. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you're a member, you can uh, you can make use of that little Farrell Cheryl emoji. She has her own emoji. So guys, <clears throat> in all seriousness, you know, there's been many eclipses since I was a kid and all that, but this, I guess this is a special one. I still not sure why I guess the total eclipse and the way it's uh, positioned, but it's definitely something that was scary as a kid. And we took the Bible li literally, we totally took the Bible literally. And it was scary because, you know, in the Bible it says, and I'll show you a couple of things and I want to play a couple of clips is we're going to have fun with this because why not? Why not? Right. I'm going to, um, Keep starring things. And honey, if you're in the background and want to star anything, that would be helpful. Um, before I play this, I just want to, oh, I just got to think. Mischief Manage, thank you so much. Thank you. Gifted one. Oh, wait. You gifted five more. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Mischief Manage. Six of them. Six new cubs. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. That is awesome. And anyone who received those free those gifted memberships, uh, please uh, thank Mischief Manage. That's awesome. And, uh, oh, that gosh dang Bible. I know. <laughs> I know. Those gosh dang uh, scientists, I tell you. I tell you. Oh, it says every 40 years. Um, Duncan said there was something special about it that was like 300, but I'm not sure. 300 years. Not sure exactly. But uh, we've got an eclipse. Uh, Dianetics. Clown, as you do, <laughs> yeah, yes. Cyrus C. Skelton sounds like somebody. 
somebody else we know. That's right. And uh, someone did, did a really good impersonation of him, and I'm going to play that later. Uh, it's our very own friend, uh, Clearwater Chato. So I'm going to play that a little bit later. I don't know if he's listening, but it was great. Okay. Cheryl, Feral Cheryl was awe of you. Supreme ruler. <laughs> That's right. She plays a, a really good LRH. Okay. Let me present a couple of things. And we've got. All right. Let's do a couple of these first. So over the, you know, over the years, over the ages, there's been a lot of different, you know, folklore and and uh, beliefs about about the solar eclipse. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna just show you some things, and then I'll play some clips. So, where am I? Okay, hopefully you can see that. All right. So this was a belief from uh, the Vikings, and. It says, uh, what did the Vikings think about the solar eclipse? Uh, the Norse and the Norse mythology uh, ascribe the Vikings of Northern Europe believe that uh, during a total solar eclipse, the sun was being eaten by two wolves known as Skoll and Hati. Uh, so there's, there's one theory. There's uh, what is the Native, Native American myth about the eclipse, addition to the concept of death during an eclipse. So, yeah threat of death or an eclipse it is also believed that during an eclipse the sun and the moon are mating all right then after the passing of the eclipse when the sun or moon becomes fully bright once again it is believed that a birthing has just taken place there so there you have it there you have it uh what did ancient peoples believe to be true about solar eclipses the ancient chinese believed that solar eclipse occurred when a celestial dragon devours the sun they also believe that the same dragon attacks the moon during a lunar eclipses, during lunar eclipses. It was a tradition in ancient China to bang drums and pots and make loud noises during the eclipses to frighten the dragon away. Yeah, see, I didn't know that. Maybe we could try that today. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm going to actually present the truth. So this, this is the truth. The truth is, uh, the Bible says uh, in Joel 2.31, that's the Old Testament, the sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And Acts 22.20, 20, uh, 20, which is uh, in the New Testament, backs that up. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. So I am going to prove the factual facts in the evidence the evidence based evidence of this duncan's laughing <laughs> i mean i mean cyrus c shelton's laughing he's laughing at me because he thinks he knows the scientific explanation but we all know that that's not true we all know that's not true so and honey if you want to uh start some more things you can do that uh stop screen <laughs> talking to myself here and then so I got, um, so I have a, um, a, a leader in the evangelical world that can explain to you, um, what is going to happen. Okay. And, uh, his name is John Hagee and he has a mega church. He's a televangelist and he also has a mega church in San Antonio, Texas. It's, that's about 19,000 strong. Um, he put out a video last night or yesterday, um, less than 24 hours ago to explain this. And it's already gotten over uh, uh, half a million. He has about half a million uh, subscribers to his YouTube channel and it's had over half a million views. So uh, I don't want you all to miss out because we don't want to miss the rapture. So uh, let's play this. This is very, very important information. All right. Okay, let me know if you can. I'm going to turn up the volume. Anyway. Eclipse is visible proof 
that God Almighty created heaven and earth and is in total control of what's happening in the planet and on, and on planet earth. The Bible says that God calls the stars by name, that he holds the seven seas in the palms of his hand, and he's sending this solar eclipse on April 8th tomorrow to warn the body of Christ to prepare for the rapture of the church. I wouldn't tell you something that uh, bold if I didn't have a strong Bible foundation for it. And here it is, Luke 21, 25. The Bible says, and there shall be signs in the sun. That's going to be tomorrow. And then there will be signs in the moon. That's the four blood moons that have already happened, about which I wrote this book that sold over a million copies in a very short period of time. Okay, guys, uh, listen up. Look at this. You only have 40 days to order this. It's available. The Four Blood Moons by John Hagee is available now uh, for $9.99 on Amazon. So run, do not walk, to buy the Four Blood Moons. Hey, let's keep going here. The Four Blood Moons and the stars. So the sun, the moon, and the stars are in fact celestial evangelists who are trying to communicate to people who read the Bible. The Bible says, then they shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. These, now the Bible says, and these things begin to happen. Look up and lift your heads because your redemption draweth nigh. That's what God is saying. Do you have scripture that the heavens are God's billboard? Absolutely. Joel chapter 2 verses 30 and 31 says, I will show you wonders in the heavens and the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. That describes the war that you're seeing on television right now in Israel, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Uh, and the sun shall be turned into darkness. That's going to happen tomorrow. And the moon to blood, the four blood moons that I've talked about. What? Before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. What is the great and awesome day of the Lord? It's the rapture of the church. <laughs> then the scripture is established by two witnesses. Acts 2.19 says... And I will show wonders in the heaven above. All right. I, I'll stop that. I think you get the idea. I think you get the idea. So uh, there you have it. There you have it. And this is serious stuff, guys. I mean, I, I'll tell you, as a kid, this reminds me so much. Uh, I should have given a trigger warning. <laughs> Anybody who gets triggered by this kind of stuff, you know, put down your phone, shut off your TV. Um yeah, it really was traumatizing as a kid. I was so afraid that the rapture was going to happen and that I was going to miss it and it was going to be literally off of my head, you know? So uh, this is serious. I mean, it just, I don't mean mock Christianity or whatever. This evan evangelical stuff is really widespread and it does and still fear into a lot of people, especially, especially children, you know? So uh, I want to put that in uh, another little humorous thing. <laughs> I want to show you that, that Kelly sent me. And I thought it was hilarious. Oh, the helicopter is in the chat. <laughs> Thanks, Kel. Uh, I just want to show you one more thing here. You know, more proof, guys. More proof. All right. Now listen up, here we go. Went right across America. There's another eclipse coming right across America. It'll make a perfect cross on the center of the nation. God made the first sign go through seven cities named Salem on August 21st, 2017. The word Salem, according to Bible, is peace. So God is saying seven times, 
he offered peace. The next eclipse is coming. It goes through several cities here. Nineveh, 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 Nineveh. Jonah gave Nineveh 40 days. God said, you've got 40 days to repent. Only the sign of Jonah will be shown to you. And that's right here now. Seven and seven. Seven cities called Salem. Seven cities called Nineveh. And seven years apart. Right in the center of the cross is a city called Rapture. What is God's message? We have got 40 days. We've got to repent and seek God like never before. He's coming very, very soon. There was an eclipse that took place. So there you have it, guys. You know, there's your proof right there. There's your proof right there. And uh, this, this sad, how long till he mentions his books, right? The sad thing is, is a lot of people really are, you know, giving this, nerv nervous about it. These signs and things, the 777, the, the, the uh, coming to a crossroads over the, the town of Rapture. People believe this. And uh, yeah, when I was a kid, um, yeah, George Massey, these people scare me more than Scientology. Me too. Me too. I agree with that. Totally. So, uh, Good, good question. Uh, cooler by the lake. <clears throat> I, I can give you a couple of, from my experience because I've experienced the end of the world many times, um, but it never happened. So uh, I can tell you the excuses I've heard is that sometimes, you know, they move the date uh, for several reasons. It's usually they blame it on God. They blame it on God. And uh, they say God is so merciful that he decided to give us more time, you know, so uh other reasons are he's testing us because um you know in the bible god did tell lies sometimes just to test his people you know he had abraham go up on uh the mountain with his only son and his own only son isaac is that his name honey um and put him on a an altar and raise a knife to him to unalive him as a sacrifice to to god um which doesn't seem very biblical, but uh, hey, God, is, God can do whatever he wants. He's God, right? And then just as he was about to do it, um, his, you know, only beloved son, which was uh, kind of prophetic to what would happen with Jesus later on. And all of a sudden there was a ram or some type of animal in the thicket. There was just a thicket appeared with an animal and that was the sacrifice. So, uh, yeah, so sometimes God plays tricks on us and uh, he tells us. Uh, what's going to happen? And then he's like, oop, psych. So uh, I don't know. I This one seems real, man. I just, I don't know. I don't know it's a psych. Oh, so <laughs> joking aside, totally Jersey. It makes me angry. Yeah, me too. It really does. Oh boy. Oh, thank you for all the starred questions, honey. Appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I'll go through your, I'll go through your stuff. Um, we messed up. We're not ready yet. That's right. That's an excuse. Mm -hmm. The bride is not ready. We didn't believe enough. Yeah. Yeah. That bothers me. Um, you know, thinking about that, the whole bride thing, because Marlene would always be like, you know, um, talking about the pure bride of Christ and the whore of Babylon. And I was always, you know, allied with Jezebel, the whore of Babylon, rather than the bride of Christ, because I never was pure enough. So yeah, psych, God. <laughs> That's right, psych. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Mm. <laughs> Jamie still. Guess we all know what happened to all the patients when they closed the asylums. They ended up on TV. Yep. Uh, evangelizing, I guess. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got. Thank you for the reminder. Julie says, uh, Marlene used to tell me, you're going to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. And that's exactly how she would say it, too. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Mary Reno. So it's kind of like a fire drill when the end doesn't happen. Exactly. Exactly. It's just a test. Just a test of the emergency broadcast system. Anybody remember that? When uh, the TV would go, eh, and there would be these colored lines across the TV. Uh, this is the test of emergency broadcast system. Yeah. Eric. All that. Yeah. Totally upsetting. Creating fear in people is awful. Yeah. 
controlling through fear. And this guy is, is dead serious. He's serious. Yeah. All right. I got a lot of start and I'm going to go through this. That's aging us. Oh, sorry, Nancy. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, solicitous, why is how soon will the clips be here? Won't be here for another four hours. Yes. Uh, I think Duncan said uh, a couple more hours. It's like 2.30 or something our time, which is about two and a half hours from now. Isn't that Joseph J. Joseph? Well, he explained, um, you know, and he's always 100% uh, uh, you know, truthful, right? Very honest, very honest. That's his brother. His twin brother. <laughs> Kitchen Witch Suzanne, that Kitchen Witch Suzanne, the eclipse is a time to end relationships, start new ones, and renew your spiritual power. Well, there you go. Yep, yeah, there you go. Um, mischief managed. Oh, no, I was told there would be no science or math. <laughs> you didn't hear that from me. You're not going to accuse me of uh, being smart. That's for sure. I'm not having no science or math. That guy, you know. He just did the, he had to do the science and math because, uh, you know, I, I was uh, uh, directed towards a, a chat last night towards a, a uh, YouTube uh, streamer and uh, only stayed a couple minutes because I happened to look and just see some some familiar names, some not so familiar names, um, you know, talking about me, how I, I don't read books. And you know what? Guilty. Guilty as charged. I had to read uh, a lot of uh, Bible when I was younger. I think I was a little bit dyslexic. Um, being in foster care, you know, never really had, uh, any kind of tests or anything. So, so yeah, um, I don't read books and I think that's really, really funny to make fun of somebody, um, who has, uh, you know, a challenge and is slightly dyslexic. So, uh, good job. Uh, all you, uh, you know, friends of Chris Shelton, Mike Rinder, uh, the discord, like great job great job and i think it's hilarious and uh for all those who are hate watching me thanks for the clicks thanks for the clicks and uh i'm providing entertainment so uh this is for your entertainment purposes and uh we have cyrus c skelton phd uh astronomer at large to thank for that and whoa oh my goodness and so this is the triplet of the uh <laughs> see he's wearing what are you wearing <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, mean, I dressed down. In, uh, this is the redneck shirts. triplet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm on. I'm the third of the. <laughs> You're messing up my hair. Save that oh, for later. Goodbye. Well, Goodbye. Well, Get out of here. Well. Bye. Love you. <laughs> oh my goodness, bye, honey. <laughs> so that happened. Oh, coffee. Wow, I have coffee and tea. And this one. This one says. If found in microwave, return to mom. I have been guilty of putting. I don't put my tea water in the microwave anymore. I promise. But I have been guilty of warming my coffee up. In, in that, and I've got burning biscuits today. Although my biscuits aren't really burning. Oh, we gotta. We'll save this for uh, Cyrus uh, Skelton. Um, maybe when he comes back, my dog is blind. Will she still freak out? That's a good question. I'll keep that one starred. For when he goes back into the the back office. Purple Nettie. My sister says small town Arkansas is overrun with people to watch the eclipse. Schools are shut down and her office will be closing at noon. I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. This is a big one. It's a big one. Nana's Ranch. My goats are going to demand dinner at two and demand breakfast at four. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's cute. <laughs> That's really, really cute. I like that. Saying, K, since I'm not on track of the eclipse, does that mean I'm missing the rapture? You got 40 days to repent. Um, just saying, you know, get, get right. You, if you mean business with the Lord, you will get right with God. Just saying. Do we need magic Nancy Helen? Do we need magic mushrooms to go with the magic glasses? Yeah. He's a magic man. My daughter can sing that song so well. Magic man. And uh uh 
Mr. Cyrus uh, Skelton, if you can see this, I see you in the back. If you can uh, write an answer to that. Uh, my dog is blind. Will she still freak out? So uh, free as an eagle. If you can answer that question in the chat, <laughs> it would be appreciated. From a poet, I'm in the path. Going to watch it from my front yard. Yes, you have the glasses. Good, good. Be careful. And, uh, you know, if you need to make one of those uh, shoebox things, um, I guess they do work. Just please protect your eyes. Okay. Sarah S., I'll be at repenting to my to-do list. I think you should put it at the top, you know, because um, if you're like me, procrastinator, I'm probably going to wait. And I couldn't figure out if anybody wants, if anybody good at math, um, I want to figure out when 40 days is from now. Um, the day before is probably when I'm going to end up repenting. And uh, it might be too late. I, I I don't know. I'll try. Mirino will be able to see it here in Maine. Yeah, I guess in Vermont we'll be able to see it as well. George Massey, I'm grabbing tin foil to make a hat. Tin foil hat. <laughs> All right there. Woohoo! Oh, back off, Kitchen Witch Suzanne. Sexy pocket protector too. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's mine. Just saying. Just saying, I know you can't resist the pocket protector, but mm, 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 mm. yeah, I know that is just the finishing touch. Sexy. Yep. Carrie B. Woo. Marilyn in a poly relationship with twins. Triplets, actually. <laughs> Triplets. All right. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh. Is this true? Why is Angel UK? It's special because of the comet, which is accompanying it. Maybe it's a uh, tea and dough. Ooh, maybe it's a uh, Heaven's Gate. Oh my goodness! So if we do end up in the rapture and get caught up, do you go in the comet spaceship to heaven with tea and dough? Whoa! Yeah, Marshall Applewhite and what was her name Bonnie Nettles. Yeah, so there you go. I mean, they had something. They really had something. It's Jamie Steele and some people, some people believe the earth is round, those idiots. Yeah, kids. They believe the earth is round. I don't even get it. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? Okay. Mary Reno, question. So if the end of days will be here in 40 days, can I ditch all the housework and stuff now? Um, yeah. I, I would say so. I, I would say so, especially if uh, if you're going to repent, you know, and why leave it behind uh, for somebody else to, you know, enjoy it? So just blah, let it go. Let it go because, uh, you know, nobody will care at that point because they'll be busy uh, getting, you know, a tattoo on their hand or their forehead. They'll be busy doing that. So uh, I don't think I don't think anybody noticed your messy house. Nope. Gamer Jackie, <clears throat> Marilyn, I absolutely, absolutely, I was terrified of Armageddon as a child. My dad's parents were Southern Baptists. I went to church with them a lot, <clears throat> read the Bible when I was 12. It's scary, especially as a kid. Yeah, in all seriousness, um, it's only been the last couple of years I've really even been able to, talk, to, to joke about it, like as if it's not true, because I was so scared. I really was, even as an adult, honestly, because it was just so drilled into my head. Kimberly Gal Galbadon, hi there. Ga Gabaldon. Okay, I don't, I can't say it like uh, I can't say it perfectly like cricket does. Kimberly Gabaldon. Um, the ideas of the religious right scare me, but I've been watching them since the seventies, and they don't seem to have grown much in influence. Um, yeah, I I was so my my um sphere of influence was so and small that to me it was just quote normal scary and terrible but normal and everybody I knew believed it and so it to me it was like a very well-known you know fact right and um unfortunately there are millions of people that do believe this and it's, it's really sad it's really sad and uh I know there's a lot of children that are being told this to this day. I mean, that guy was was serious, that John Haggy guy. He's got half a million views in just, 
you know, less than, I think it was 17 hours. So yeah, that does scare me because that's, a, that's, that's a huge amount of people. Um, if you think of it, not to, not to, you know, make Scientology seem smaller, but in numbers, it's, it is smaller. Um, in abuse, in atrocities, it's a lot worse, I think. But I I feel like being sat, you know, in front of a screen in a church, a dark church at nine or 10 years old. And, you know, one of these days, I asked Kelly if she would uh, present this with me, this uh, Di Distant Thunder, this uh, Thief in the Night movie, and play clips of it. And it's very traumatizing. Um, just to even think about watching it right now. But I'm going to I'm going to face my fears and do it one of these days with her um, and do a reaction to it. But, you know, it is even hard to joke about when I even think about it. But it was real. It was real to me. And I'm glad it's not. I'm glad now the fear is gone. Mostly. Mostly. So. Julie Markham, I love Heart. Yes, they're touring this year. Oh, I bet they're sold out. I love Heart. One of my favorite groups from the 80s. Sharona, my, my, my Sharona. Uh, although I don't think I'll be raptured, so I hope the house I plan to take over after has their had their spring cleaning done. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you could upgrade. Um, you know, if you miss the rapture, you could you could just upgrade to an empty house. You know, and uh, a lot of Christians do believe that the evangelical. Christians, but believe that cleanliness is next to godliness, even though that isn't in the Bible. But uh, I bet there's a lot of nice houses that'll be uh, left vacant. Yeah. I soon said mischief managed. Ma uh, Marilyn is as big of a sinner as A.A. Ron. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> even bigger. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I thanks, I Asen. <laughs> Ison, sorry, I always say your name wrong. Um, oh, Black Hole Sun. Okay, I know that song, but I can't think of how it goes. She come and wash away the rain. Yeah, I'll have to listen to that one later. <laughs> Kimberly G says, let the squatters do the dishes in the vacuum. <laughs> yeah. Hey, honey, if you figured out when uh, 40 days from now is, can you let me know? Just put it in the start. I'm very curious now. I want to know how much time I have left, you know. Karen McCourt, comment, Toronto is seven miles from the path, so we'll see 99% eclipse. Awesome. Awesome. Carrie B., the last one here in the UK was approximately 25 years ago. I can't remember when exactly it was, and it was awesome. I encourage all you folks who can to experience it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually... Um, purposely seeing one, you know. So this is exciting. George Massey says, hold my beer, LRH. The evangelicals are here. That's right. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. B -b 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 Baby, you just ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> That's right. We'll have a solar eclipse and you ain't gonna forget, baby. <laughs> You ain't seen nothing yet. Okay, I see Duncan coming back. Maybe he's figuring out when 40 days. You know, the 40 days thing, because like with Noah, it ran it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Um, when uh, you know, God destroyed the earth because um, you know, he got sick of the people being so sin sinful, and only Noah and his family were righteous. So uh he sent a great flood and uh for it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And then uh, also 40 days was, uh, no, uh, sorry, Jonah, Jonah and the whale. He um, told the people of Nineveh, Nineveh, which is um, the, where the path of the solar eclipse went now or la later. Is that now Nineveh? I can't remember, but yeah. So 40 days was uh, significant in that story as well. So. Just saying, definitely 40 days. <laughs> Al you 1230. The house I'll be squatting in after the rapture has to has to have central air conditioning. Yeah, I agree with you. Definitely. Oh. Oh. 
I, I said that. <laughs> You've got till May 18th to get your shit together, guys. May 18th. So uh, I'm going to set my uh, my alarm, my my calendar, May 17th. You know what? We should just have a party. Um, we just need to party for 39 days. And uh, like it's 1999, you know, and on May 17th, we got to repent. May 17th at 11, I'll say 11, 11, because that'll give you a few, you know, less than an hour to repent. I think that should be uh, long enough. What do you think, guys? I think it's long enough. But thank you, uh, Cyrus C. Shelton, uh, doctor, PhD, astronomer at large, letting us know that. Appreciate that. Maxine B, the thing that spooked me the last eclipse was, oh, we got your little emoji, was that all the birds went completely silent. It was freaky. Oh, wow. Weird. Yeah, we'll have to try to observe some of that. Chrissy, never in Newton. They, they actually said to keep your dogs in because they will look up when the owners do. Oh, just so, right, we don't want to ruin their eyes, too. Right. Well, we'll have them inside because we're going to drive up to the top because, you know, we're in that little holler, hollow thing. Can't really see stuff. All right. May 18th, everybody. Remember that. Remember that date. And we got the comment. I don't know what, which comment is it? Is it Haley's comment? All right. Ditching the housework. <laughs> I guess I said this. Uh, you can dispose of all your ill-gotten gain by sending us to dispose of it via PayPal. <laughs> Go. Yeah, and I, I'm sure uh, Mr. Uh, Reverend John H Hagee would take Haggy would take some of that off your hands, even though he's going to heaven. He's definitely gonna, you know, he's not gonna miss the rapture. But uh, he's, I'm sure, he's happy to uh, to take some of that ill-gotten gain. Off your hands. All right. Kelly Copter said on her channel, she was planning on partying at your house for 40 days, running it, turn, running into nights. That's right. We're going to party. That's right. I can't wait till she comes out. And I can't wait to see her uh, in clear water with uh, Feral Cheryl on the loose and every everybody. It's going to be so much fun. Marilyn, you need to do the Aaron thing where he calls out, Barb! Yeah. <laughs> oh, Barb. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. That was funny. And you know what was really funny about that was um, before Barb got there the other night when Aaron was doing his Q&A, he listed off some names and he's like, if any of these people are bored and don't have anything to do and want to jump in the back, and uh, I guess I'm on his team. So I jumped in and I was doing it. And the only thing was when he kept saying the Aftermath Foundation instead of the SPTV Foundation, I, I did type like the, I found the the link and I know I'm pretty sure the mods did, but I, I didn't have a wrench. So I only did, that's the only thing I posted as him was the link because I was like hoping he'd see it. Like it's SPTV, you know? And I almost said, you done messed up, Aaron, like as him. But yeah, so I did that because I couldn't post a link as me, right? And uh, then when Barb jumped in, I left. And then she's like saying stuff like <laughs> getting beat up by 12-year-olds or something <laughs> as, as Aaron. That was hilarious. Barb is a ticket. She can get away with it. Haley's comment only comes around 80 year, every 80 years or so. Yeah. Brenda, I grew up Pentecostal and terrified. Uh, see, and terrified. Uh, Scientology never believed I'd be a lucky raptured. Oh wait, so, oh, cause. Okay, I get it. Because I grew. Let's start over. Because <laughs> I'm just used to COS meaning Scientology. I grew up Pentecostal and terrified. Cause never believed I'd be a lucky rapture. Me either. Me either. Always knew I was gonna miss the rapture. Mm -hmm. It was serious. I had bad. Uh, LSD. Oh, at bad LSD trip at 14, I thought I was in hell, abandoned by God, alone forever, very traumatizing. Oh my God. Yeah. I totally understand that. I used to lay awake at night just having night terrors about that. Yeah. 
Woohoo! 40 days will all be debt free. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Love it. What? Oh, what now? <laughs> the devil. The devil comet, okay, there's a devil comet, is a Mount Everest-sized hunk of rock that comes around every 71 years or so. May be visible during the eclipse. Keep your eyes peeled. All right, not too peeled because you don't want to hurt your eyes. Interesting. Okay, we've got to look out for that. Yes, love, chef, baby, love. Yeah, but I keep thinking of Prince, like, party like it's 1999. I'm way off today. Uh. Oh, nice. Sharona, my husband and son went to Fort Worth, Texas to experience the eclipse. They're staying with my father-in-law who just left the Jehovah's Witnesses in the past year. I only met him this year after 24 years of marriage. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Brenda, I remember being seven at school and afraid it would happen and I'd never see my mom again. Yeah, it was a real thing for me too. I remember just being in the grocery store and losing track of my adopted mom and my siblings and just being like, oh my God, it just had the panic, panic struck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to lie. Uh, this, this is actually a really good point. Maybe I don't want to be raptured after all. Uh, Carrie B, if the religious zealots actually all got raptured, the rest of us might have a nicer time down here. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Good point. Hey, Lori Plays, great to see you. Uh, if you're if you're in the uh, line of the rap of the, <laughs> was that the rapture <laughs> in the line of uh, the eclipse, uh, be careful with your eyes. Uh, don't drive off the road when it happens, and. Uh, you know, I just want to let you know, uh, today I'm e an evangelist and letting everyone know that you have 40 days to repent. So I feel, I feel like Jonah and I don't want to be swallowed by no whale, you know? So, uh, yeah, I don't want to be swallowed by like, I don't know what's out, out there. Salamanders in the crick. So, yeah. Dr. Who Heather, hey there. Uh, the best part of an eclipse is the eerie reddish dark, uh, dark light. The sky turns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be cool. We'll have to get capture some of that. Oh, Mount Etna is spouting smoke rings today. See, just like Reverend Haggy said that the sun, the moon, the stars, even Mount Etna is sending messages, sending smoke signals to us. Tell us, repent, repent for the redemption draweth nigh. And you got to look up. Make sure you look up because you won't be raptured if you don't look up. Just saying. And I know I'm joking about this, guys, but that's how I cope, you know. And uh, I thought you might find it interesting to, even though it's humorous to a lot of people, it is to me now. But I thought it'd be interesting to just kind of present some of this stuff that they believe is fact. And uh, I did. I was scared. I was scared. Um, isn't the, Kimberly, isn't the debt-free thing in the book of Jubilees? I think that's in the Catholic Bible. I never read that because that wasn't something that was in um, the Bible that I, you know, was brought, that I was brought up with. So. Not sure about that. Comment, Ison. Comment. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. That is also why Muslims have the festival of sacrifice, or now, or how it is called in English. Kill a lamb every year and give the pieces to people around you. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there are a lot of parallels and similarities in uh, Islam and Christianity because it is an a what do they say? Abrahamic uh, religion, you know? All right. What are we at? About mm, a little short of an hour. Um, I'll just go through the chat a little bit. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I guess I can do some. 
<laughs> yeah, um, Dr. Who Heather, should I be worried that I saw the end is nigh in my alphabets this morning? Yeah, wow. Even your alphabets, Ethereal, is is uh, sending messages. And uh, I don't know, I was going to have some Campbell's uh, vegetable soup with the alphabet. But I don't know about that. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, Kimberly G, does this 40-day thing apply to all solar eclipses or just this one? My guru in Boulder told us that lunar eclipses signify major endings. Solar eclipses re represent major beginnings. And I didn't see the rest. Oh, and had us figure out how that applies to your life. Well, my theory in this is that, just like I said earlier, that God changes his mind, right? So this is definitely the 40-day thing unless, until, until it's not, you know? So uh, I think it applies to all solar eclipses um, that the, yeah, and then maybe not psych. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Kate D, comment. The Jehovah's Witnesses are freaking out here. I live close to the Kingdom Hall. It's funny how seriously they take this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Armageddon. You know, that's what they believe in. And uh, they're getting ready because they're going to they're going to inhabit the new the new earth, you know, and only 144,000 of Jehovah's Witnesses get to go to heaven and rule over everybody else on earth. But there's going to be a new, a new earth um, after they rake off all the dead bodies and all the destruction. Um, then, you know, they'll have like uh, to be hanging out with lions and they won't eat them. Yeah, it'll be great. It'll be great. So, hmm. All right, guys. Oh, you can max out your credit cards. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can eat anything you want. Um, yeah, you can do all the things. All things. I mean, I wouldn't suggest robbing a bank because I think if you're in jail, you might miss the rapture. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, I don't think so. And I hope that didn't just get me in trouble or saying that. <laughs> oh. Everyone has an opinion. Yep, everyone has an onion about their about the the eclipse. Uh, no talk, Tony. When JWs go door knocking, they discuss which house they will take over. <laughs> that's a good. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Wouldn't that mean heaven is full already? Yeah, I don't think that they believe in the. Um, I don't think that Jehovah's Witnesses, correct me if I'm wrong, anyone that knows, I don't know if they believe in the rapture because I think they believe that they'll they'll survive Armageddon somehow. Like that they'll be here on earth during Armageddon, but that uh, God will protect them from any destruction. So they will see all of the death and destruction. Um, I'm not sure if they believe in like the mark of the beast or any of that. They have a slightly different Bible. So I'm not really sure. Slightly in, in different interpretations too. Um, most mainstream Christian Christians that I know don't, don't believe all this stuff. They don't believe it, but it is, it is interpreted that way, um, from the Bible. So, uh, hats off to you question. What are your thoughts about radiation emissions during the eclipse? Um, I'm sure Duncan has some thoughts about that. Honey, if you want to answer that, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure that's way above my pay grade. Um, John Van Gies, hey there, uh, Dr. Who Heather, if you're eating alphabets as an adult, you're doing adulting right. That's right. You are adulting correctly. I agree with that. Uh, I said all the uh, Abrahamic religions so similar, or as I say, new overworked prints of the same book, yet they are fighting, which is more correct. Yeah, I don't get it. They should... They should get along so well, right? Um, yeah, I agree with that. And the thing is, even in Christianity, you know, you got the Protestants, the Catholics, and all the different denominations, and there's been wars, you know, in Ireland and all that. Um, 
yeah, just people. Sometimes when people be peopling, it's not a good thing, you know, and religion doesn't, religion, I think, causes more um, wars than, um, than solves them. So, yeah, I don't know. Brenda, I don't know. No one else in my family seemed messed up by it like me. I have tons of relatives. Felt like I was separated from all of them. Not, uh, not that I didn't believe that I didn't speak in tongues, right? Um, yeah, I, I can relate to that a lot. I think you and I have, you know, similarities in that. Um, nobody else seemed to think because I think they thought they were gonna, they were excited about the rapture. I was terrified of it, terrified, and yeah, I never. Felt like I was enough. Um, I faked speaking in tongues sometimes because to me, it really wasn't something that either was real or that I got as a gift from the Holy Spirit. So a lot of mind games, a lot of, you know, fuckery and foolishness, mind facts, all, all the things, all the things. Yeah. Okay. So I'm at an hour. Um, I'm going to show you Oh, and we're selling Armageddon Insurance. Call today for a quote. Armageddon it. You better be Armageddon it insurance. Yes. Armageddon some insurance here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I have 666 in my social. Oh, mischief managed. Whoa. Whoa. Um... Marilyn Honig, Coffee, Calls, and Crafts, says, not thinking any, and this is going to make me sound smart, <laughs> not thinking any ex, anything extra with radiation will happen as the sun's blocked, but just don't stare at the sun as that would expose them to radiation. Oh, your eyes? Hmm. I don't know. Mary Reno, I don't know how people can just shun family and friends like that. I'm so sorry. Your family has gone through all that, Sharana. Yeah. Yeah, that's just awful. It's not right. It's not right. Janet from another planet. This is off topic, but I was so shocked. I guess I don't see chats getting this ignorant much to see some in the chat bashing you. Lori plays, held her own for a bit, and then she bowed out. Horrible behavior. Yeah. Um. I'll I'll admit it wasn't fun seeing that, and I was only I was only watching for about fifteen minutes. I went back and forth with uh, Burke, uh, which rhymes with jerk, and I was just like, I don't know. I was like, I'm out of here. I don't even need to watch it. Um, when uh, this, you know, whatever soccer count or or you know, it was just something like uh, Tiny Dancer or something like that was uh, it was that wasn't the name, but it was close. Um, saying, you know, making fun of me for not reading books and all that. It's like, whatever. And uh, accusing me of things. Uh, I was talking to Kelly about it this morning. And uh, she was talking about like, hey, you're providing them entertainment too. And I'm like, you know what? That's true. If they're that bored and they need to use me as a uh, scapegoat or somebody to bash or whatever, yeah, they can have fun. They can have fun. Yeah, so it went past my bit. Was that like four hours? Yeah, I only made it about 15 minutes. So <laughs> and uh I I uh checked it out a little bit later. I saw oh no Nora was in there, I saw Dianetics was in there. So uh yeah, they they got them to contend with. That's all good. That's all good. Oh, Steely, yeah. Yeah, whatever. So I blocked them all. I was like, you know what? I'm done. Michelle Carpenter, whatever, she can be her little puppeteer behind the string behind the scenes pulling the strings i don't care i'm just done with all of them they can uh they can hate watch me all they want so um i just want to show you this this is hilarious <laughs> that uh i got sent to me by kelly this morning it was so funny uh i don't i haven't seen clearwater chad but he could you can watch this on the replay, but I got to show you guys this. I don't have puppy pictures today. I'm actually running out of pictures. So if you guys want to send me uh, anything, I do have some that I got to pick up and that I missed, but puppies, kitties, reptiles, birds, fish, anything. Um, you want to send me pictures of craft projects you're working on. Uh, I don't know, pictures of the eclipse, anything, anything you want to send me within reason. Um, you can send it to Coffee Cults and Crafts 
at gmail.com. So let me show you this. So in lieu of uh, those pictures, I'll show you this. It's so funny. Oh, here we go. Chris Shelton, Q&A number 449. And you heard it here first. All right. Sure, we got the volume up. Ooh, here we go. And here we go. Hi, everyone. And my name is Chris, Chris Shelton. This is Critical Q&A number 449. Thank you for watching. Today, we're going to talk about something serious today. As you guys know, I've been subject to criticism, and it's got to stop, folks. Now, these are people that are criticizing me. 99% of them do not have a master's degree, folks. I think we all can conclude immediately that anyone that doesn't have a master's degree is on a lower plane than us, okay? The good guys. I know all you followers of me have a master's degree. And that's pretty much mandatory for watching this channel, folks. As you know, I've been judged and prejudged against the American way, against the Constitution. Anyone that criticizes me, Chris Shelton, will be blocked. Their movements will be monitored. I will be monitoring their movements and staying one season ahead of them, folks. Now, we got to be aggressive with these with these criminals and block their block their actions and monitor their movements, folks. Because this is, these are uneducated, unprofessional people, okay? They don't know how to act. They don't know how to chew gum and walk at the same time, folks. Now, you know what I mean? You know, these are the scum of the earth. Anyone that would criticize me with a master's degree, I have a master's degree. You hear that? Anyone master's that would criticize me is a criminal. We got to be blocked, we, gotta, we have to monitor their movements. I don't believe any of these people. You don't believe any of these people. Okay, wait a minute. Did you just say anyone without a master's degree is a criminal? <laughs> All right. Duly noted. I don't believe it. You don't believe it. I don't see it. You don't see it. Be a he, me, it did. Any one of these people, all these people that are criticizing me, all right, they're criticizing because they're jealous of my master's degree. They don't have master's degrees. They don't even, they even went to college. They even went to school. They don't know how to act. They don't know how to read or write. They don't know how to even barely take care of themselves, folks. You know, they're from the, the gutter and the garbage. And, you know, they got to bring themselves up to at least, at least get yourself an eighth grade education, folks. All right. I have a master's degree and these people don't have a master's degree. They're the scum of the earth, folks. Everything these people say about me is F rated. Fake, false, Fraud, they're failing, they're flunky, they're floozies, they don't have master's degrees, they don't even have an eighth grade education, folks. This has been Critical Q&A 449, folks. Hope you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. That was great. So, uh, to all you criminals out there. <laughs> oh my god i love me some clear water chad <laughs> okay what'd you say george what'd you say george i missed it everybody's laughing at george now i gotta read it oh <laughs> Chrishell has a master beta degree <laughs> oh my goodness yeah so there you have it um Anyone who doesn't have a master's degree from uh, the a Cracker Jack box is a criminal. Yep. Where's the creepy laugh? Yeah, I know. He he kind of mixed in his other uh, characters. Because <laughs> Clearwater Chad does like these you know, fake lawyers and, and things like that. And like kind of these Italian style, you know, gangster type types. So, uh, yeah, we're criminals on a dung heap. That's right. And uh, hey, if you do have a real master's degree, props to you. Props to you. And uh, you can you can be smart and and kind and funny and uh, yeah, um, not picking on anybody who has a real master's degree. That's for sure. That's for sure. So the parodies, yeah, I'm here for them. I just I love the parodies. I think they're funny. And uh, I gotta do. I gotta give 
We have Claire Water to have a, a seal clap and my husband, Duncan, <laughs> one of the triplets. Yeah. All right, everyone. It's been so great to hang out with you. Um, it's just the start of the week. And uh, I guess I'll say goodbye for now, but have a great day and uh, we'll see you most likely tomorrow. Bye. Zinu, Marlene, everybody partake. Cheers. Mm, this is good coffee. This is why, you know, my hobby makes the coffee.